Okay, this will be my first legit unbox. Well, it's not even legit. The box is already open, but I didn't get. I didn't see what was inside. It looks empty to me, but this will be the uh, FXFX uh, 6650 from Newegg. Uh, so that's how you can talk it from Newegg. There's my invoice. There's some more Newegg stuff. This tells me peel off product key to play the game to uh, actually download it and play it. So I got the free game, which is, come on, uh, Call of the Fivefant Stalker. So um, this is pretty good. If this game came with this card, then that means, you know, check this out. Congratulations on your purchase of your new ATI Radeon Grass card that supports DirectX 11. So that's kick ass. And this card's pretty small for something that's got a lot of power. So here we go. What we have on the box. Let's get some focus here. Uh, AMD HD uh, 30 PCI Express 2.0. Uh, they said I have PCI Express 2.1, um, 2 but they said it should work on Express 2.0. Third generation Terascale engine, accelerate, accelerated video transcoding and upscaling, power play technology, enhanced. Um, I'm supposed to be zoomed in here. Um, enhanced video decoder. Three enhanced internet browser application support. Enhanced Microsoft Office. Wow. It's got all that in a video card. That's unbelievable. It's got direct. All right, let's check out what else we got. I can't believe I have DirectX 11. Full DirectX 11 support. AMD HD 30 technology, Windows 7 support. That's really great. HDMI 1.4a. It. Uh, wow, this thing has surround sound on it and one gig of DDR memory. Wow. And that's DDR3. Just to be clear on that. Uh, let's see what else we got. I might be under the requirements for this card. I hope I'm not. PCI Express based uh, required um, one X16 lane, you know, 400 watt power supply. I'm 80, 80 over that, so that's good. So all you need is a PCI Express for this. Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Linux, and FreeBSD. Wow, supports everything. This is the 6570. I thought I had the 6600. There's no such thing as the 6600. And I have that. Uh, uh, the door hanger so here's the box and I know you guys are sick of me talking so we're just gonna get this box open yeah that's pretty nice I'm actually gonna install this in the video too so I wish I could pause this my old my other camera did I can't do it with this one I'll try to set the camera down and Wow, you just can't get it out of that box, can you? I'll open it from the other end. Had a hard time trying to get it out of the box, but here's the actual box inside of a box. Oh yes, there it is. There's the card. So we're going to look at our manuals first. Before I do anything else. Focus there. XFX. Are there our warranty? Oh, I can register for tech support since I paid for the darn card. So that's good. Support information. Installation guide. Install CD guide. Driver CD. And if I want to buy an XFX PSU, then, you know, this is the thing to do it. Wow, lots and lots of stuff in here. It's such a small package. Okay, here's the graphics card, and I will try to be as careful as possible to get this out. Oh, man. Let's see if I can discharge myself here. Okay. Sit the camera down. Oh, wow, this thing is beefy. Oh man, this is the heaviest video card I've ever owned, so bear with me if I start crying. Yeah, that's so much better than what I've ever had. Sorry I don't have that much light. It's, the whole thing is just black, which I love. Uh, we've got our fan right here. we got some solid state capacitors, which is good news. So, uh, here's the bottom. Nothing really fancy, because I don't know what the hell is on here. I don't, you know. 
and let's go through our interfaces we have DVI which does uh, which goes to full resolution which is like I think 20 by something I don't know we have HDMI and that's the full HDMI not the uh, mini HDMI and we have VGA but I recommend you use DVI oh my gosh yeah that's my computer right there and that's the old 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 monitor I'm using but I have a surprise in one of my other unboxings so this is what the video card looks like I'm not going to be doing too much on it but I will install it and uh, we'll see if we can get this thing working so this is the XFX 60 um, uh, what is it the 6570 what made me buy this card is the um, is the uh, I saw a banner on the side of Looney's Tech Tips videos and I was going to get me a 5570 then I saw this one and I saw that it was DirectX 11 so I'm just going to wear this little card out and I hope this fan <laughs> doesn't fail on me these video cards have a with these little fans have tend to fail but it's all fine. All right here's my beautiful computer case that I'm going to do a review on the whole case what's in it what I put in it but for now we're just going to continue installing this video card I'm just very proud of myself. I actually brought all these parts, put them in, and it, and it started up with no problem. And I did it without beat codes or anything like that. Of course, this card has to go in upside down. That's a, you know, I wouldn't think that it would, but it does. So you put it on your PCI Express. I'm not going to zoom in because this camera can't do it anyway. But uh, your PCI Express would usually be the blue colored port or black colored port on your computer around where your PCIs are and it's right under my uh, PCI X1 slot you can't see it so we're just gonna throw this thing in my computer is plugged in but the power is turned off oh you know what this car doesn't have to go on upside down I don't think let me see hold on let me see okay we're just gonna leave the case out it's powered on now we're gonna see if she fires up we got the fan spinning we have nothing on over here. I may have to actually enable it somehow. Oh, we have video and we didn't even have to install the driver. ATI might pick it up because I have some uh, drivers on here. So ATI might uh, automatically pick it up. And uh, we're just going to let Windows start. We're going to install the drivers and see how she does in a game on this monitor. Enemy UAV spoiled. 